Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. This is the man from Bazwak, Japani, the badass, chronicling, chronicling his journey once again. As I have said before, over and over, this is my life journey as a black revolution baby. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be looking at some crucial conflict within my learning, my upbringing and my understanding of the black liberation struggle. First of all, I would like to make a few shout out. But before I make this shout out, shout out to everyone that take the time out to follow me and to be listening to what I'm putting down. I strive to be perfect, but I'm not a perfectionist. No one is perfect. Um, since my last broadcast and my Lizard Town days, I have been approached by several people of my age group. It is funny and it is strange how you can live in a little city because I live in London City and I live in, to be specifically, in East London, the borough of Hackney. That's where I live. And it's very amazing how many people actually live in Hackney from Anna Town. And you would never know them. You pass them every day. But since I have been doing this, I have been approached by a lot of people. I'm not talking the young people because the young people make themselves known. But I'm surprised when I am approached by somebody, my age group, and they're telling me, yes, everything that you're saying, I can identify and relate to it because this was my time. So that, that made me feel good. That is good to know that people is actually listening and relating to what I'm saying and doing. Like I said, I'm not doing this for likes or dislike or anything. So for those of you who come in my comment and try to make sarcastic remarks, I just ignore you all because, I mean, what I'm doing is clear for those who have knowledge. I will address that at some point um, in this broadcast. However, before I move into the crooks of today broadcast, I first have to do a shout out to I never know TV. Respect you for the program that you did on Tristan Graham, who speak out on the contradiction in the Rastafari movement, views, and Gavi and Selassie. Now, this 
since I have listened to this broadcast with youth, Tristan Graham, I have been discussing this with a lot of my brethren. And um, part of the problem that I'm running into is everyone is actually saying that's all news. We know this already. Which I don't want to agree. That is all news. But under the new faculty of thinking, there is also a saying that what was hidden from the wise and prudence now reveal to the babe and suckling. Now, I look at Tristan Graham as one of my grandson. That's how young Tristan is. Tristan has actually took the time out to went and did some research. And he's now writing a paper on the contradiction of Rastafari and Gavism. I tried to brace the subject with a lot of Rastafari brethren. This morning I actually called my good brethren Carveyites um, Mandingo because I was trying to bounce certain issues on him before I come live. I was not able to get him so I will just, I will just have to go ahead with my overstanding of the conflict. Um, I will be coming to you from this book, which is Garvey Life and Lesson. I already established to you that while I was captive, so before I go any further, let me just address and make a few correction here. In my pod, my last broadcast of my lizard town days, I made an I didn't make an error because I did state clearly that I did not know who built lizard town. Somebody comment in my comment to tell me that, correct me, or make it clear that Lizard Town was actually built by Edward Siago. So Lizard Town is in Tivoli Garden. It's not an extension. It is in Tivoli Garden. So let me just correct this for you all. If you remember, somewhere in the podcast, I told you that I got captured 1970. I got captured 1970 and I did not touch back the road until 1974. So 1972 election, I was actually in captivity. The person that clarified for me is that Edward Siago in continue building to Valley Garden had Bill Lizard Town, which is a part of Bacca Wall, and 1972 election when the JLP lose the election, Michael Manley demands that those 
housing be turned over to the PMP. Hence the keys for those houses was turned over to Dudley Thompson, who is the burning spear. So that's where that connection come. And because that part of Tivoli Garden was turned over to the JLP, hence it was like a, a fort for vanguards, PMP vanguards. So Lizard Town was populated by combustive people. It was the, it was the normal society that went to live at Lizard Town. Hence, when I got released, I got a house in Lizard Town. My understanding is that, as I told you, 1976 election, I was one of the upfront defender of Lizard Town when Edward Siago came to take away the ballot box out of Jamaica's house, which was the, pol the polling station. It was me who, at the time, all the vanguards run up on building 37 on the building top with their machine. I was the one that came down off of the building to confront Edward Siago and his massive and prevent them from taking away the ballot box out of Jamaica's house, which was the polling station. The rest of it is history, so we're not going to go into that history here today. Just want to let you know that I was a defender of Lizard Town. Told you that I fly out and I fly in again. Because that's how it was back then. I fly in. I explained to you. 1978. The first big peace treaty. The knockings was. And the JLP side was between. Waxy, Winnie Poop and Froggy. And on the JLP side. It was me. Powderman and Chinkui. I already told you that part of the chronics. Now, the next correction that I want to make is in the Lizard Town journey, I explained that the Burning Spear HQ was 21 Region Street, which is correct. It was. But I want to correct that it, 21 Regent Street was not Ellis Park. I have done my research. No one didn't correct me. I have done my research out of this life and lesson. And I've discovered that Ellis Park was located at 67 Slypen Road and not on Regent Street. So... Like I said, I'm not a scholar and I have no, it take me nothing to promote misinformation. So I'm not here promoting misinformation. If I say something last week and when I research or if somebody correct me, I will stand correct and I will correct myself as the information revealed to me. So with that out the way, let's address now a burning topic. Rastafari views, Rastafari worldviews, and Garvey and Selassie. 
as I said, I am a Rasta baby. I'm coming up in the Rastafari nation. All the elders before me, like I said, I didn't know Bud Bedward. I didn't know Claudius Henry. I didn't know Percival Howell. I didn't know the, none of these three men. I didn't know them. But every other elder, I, at some stage in my trad, come into contact, counseling, guiding from every one of them. You name them. Now, it is being said that, first of all, the way I was raised as a Rasta, I already explained to you all that I was not indoctrinated. I was brought into the faith or the movement or the nation from the concept of inborn manifestation true born concept. That's how I came into the nation. Meaning that back in the days, some elder all ground in session lick some ganja pipe and reason even I and I my age group, this is how we used to Lick chalice up on the hill and reason from inborn concept to born manifestation. So, man never read no book. Yeah. I man never read no book from Rastafari when me are go. I'm telling you already, somebody dash where the Bible and use the Bible like, like chalice. In those days, when I go a grown nation, the Bible, the Bible used to be used only to leave it to ten for the growing of the locks. Psalm sixty-eight. For who sat on the throne. And Revelation 5.5. 5. So up until today these three Bible versions stand up in my head still. So I know these things. Outside of that. We never try to retain too much Bible thing. I already explained to you all that. After the visit of the king. And the king sent the church. Rastafari went on a church building type of mall. And everything becomes churchical. One of my good brethren this morning explained to me that. I went the 13 tribe thing take over. That's when everything get capsized. But I won't go beyond the 13th tribe and the church building. So I want to look at Gavi in its fullness. Come have some serious questions for actually um, put to the Massive, you know, the black massive. Now, prayer to me get captive. Because like me say, me never known, me never don't know who will be scholaristic studying until me get capture. So when me get capture, me tell them, say me a rast and 
I start tell them where Rasta stand for and Rasta this and Rasta that and me and I tell this and me not eat this and me not eat that and me not cut me here and me here for cover at all time. Babylon not for see me here. Because me I come from that level. You know. Me I come from the level where Babylon is supposed to see me lax. Yeah, my year of always cover. Up until today, I'm not have lax. But very rarely see me, I'm not have an act. My head no cover. Because I do tradition. Yeah. So now, when we get captured, it's like, you know, the jail and the prison. Black American and the other people them, that are coming in contact with I, be it the warders or the prison officers and all these people and the prison staff and these people, they never really come in contact with Rasta upon this close, close, close type of interaction and dealing with us. So, there was a lot of discussion as to what Rasta is about and so forth and so on. And to be honest with you all, at that time, I couldn't really even articulate my position as a Rasta to the people who were seek knowledge for my because here it is my lock up with the five percenters the nation of islam yahweh israel ben israel and a whole heap of other black conscious organization back then sorry and the people them just want to know what is Rasta and like I said me couldn't articulate not about my journey now me couldn't articulate what was Rasta back then outside of I am a Rasta I come from Jamaica and Rasta, black conscious and everything black. So that's how me that articulate the thing. And then the fact that at that time we are the Isle Selassie is the guarded. These organizations that me used to reason with literally make a democracy of the things that I was saying. So after a while, I becomes embarrassed. And after I have to keep my things to myself and keep myself to myself and try not to chat to nobody because everybody will make it like a, a joke or a star deal. Either. So in doing that, these other black organizations used to quote things from different books to me and tell me if I go study. So I saw come me start study. I mean, I really tell him to say me study a whole heap of things. The only difference that me never study, like me the scholar. So me never study and retain information like me want to come back now, come preach. That's not how me that study. Me that study independently. I have knowledge now of myself and what it is about. Now, the first thing I'm here now to tell you is that this saying that Marcus Garvey said that I and I was to look Africa for the crowning of a black king because in that we will find our redeemer 
is not correct. That's what I'm here to tell you all now. So at this so the first conflict start. Because nowhere in my research did I come across a statement like that from Marcus Garvey. So I want to know, go in and comment and point me to where and when that statement was made. If someone can point me to when that statement was made, so me can go see it for myself, then I will come back and I will do what I did just now. Correct the record. But I tell you, say, I did study a whole heap of things. For example, we have to know about prison. 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 At one stage, I tell you already, at one stage, while I was in prison, I used to be a librarian, meaning that I used to work in the library. I'm not going to tell you now, especially in Jamaica. Most of the maximum prison in a New York state library make Tom Wick and Drive library look like it now. Try. I'm telling you now. So now, I tell you this kind of respect prisoner, you know, don't no, no, think so with that prisoner who was the, no, I don't know how to think when I think about prisoners. Lock up in our maximum security prison in New York State. And GP penitentiary or Horizon penitentiary at Jamaica. Them places are like a dump. There's no comparison with a Max A prison in New York with any a Jamaica prison. Jamaica prison has, has some outdated, lapidated. Yo, me them want going out like that. You see what I say? Oh, no, oh, that prisoner that Jamaica right now. That, to me, that is part of my rehabilitation camp. You that never want to go to jail in Jamaica again in life. Now, tell you no. After me, the time of Attica, Auburn, Comstock, Clinton, Greenhaven, Southport, which part again? Sing Sing. All those prisons. What am I telling about now? Yeah? These are Maxi Max, Max A prison. Yeah? Rackers Island. All these places. Or Max A. Wallen Center. There is nothing in Jamaica to compare. It's like night and day. Nothing. In terms of programs, activity. And what I'm saying is that I work as a librarian. Hmm. As a librarian, the library, again, with me in a, a work, make the library up at Tamworth and Drive look like it not try. I think when I was working as a librarian, I think it was Attica. So forget your background. The prison library was connected to the main library in Buffalo. So we had access 
everything that was in Buffalo Library or Syracuse Library. Just to give you a wider picture. Why I'm saying this is that compared to London here, if you're going to a library here in London, everything for Marcus Garvey and a lock and key here in London. The philosophy and opinion, the last time I see these two books, they were in a showcase in the Marcus Garvey Library in Tottenham. You cannot borrow these books from the library. These books, you have to make special um, special requests and when you go to the library, they might take it out of the glass case, put you in a special little place to sit down and give you access to it. I don't know about Jamaica, but I know that Marcus Garvey books are not readily available to the mass of the people. And if somebody know otherwise, they can correct me in my comment. I know also if you need to purchase a Marcus Garvey book, <coughs> You can go online and you can purchase this one, which is very informative. What I also know is that a lot of Rasta will tell you a lot about Marcus Garvey but they have never actually read anything about Marcus Garvey. So Marcus Garvey legacy within the Rasta movement is like a fox myth. As I said earlier, when we talk about the things that Marcus Garvey, the, the conflict of Marcus Garvey and Eilis Selassie, when he said a lot of Rasta man will tell us, we know about that. And then move on to justify it according to their emotion. Now, I'm not upon the emotional thing, I'm not upon that. When me motion, me motion. Like when we do Tabby Diamond thing, respect RIP again, and Bunny Diamond, me, me was in motion because I'm breaking them and me, me feel that. You know? But this movement and all and this conflict and all is a real conflict. Now, the first question that me want to pose is. How, how did Rastafari overtake the Gavi movement? Yeah, because I struggle with that. I try to balance that. I can't, I can't. Marcus Gavi was born in 1887. And Marcus Garvey leave Jamaica for England 
1913. So it is safe to say Marcus Garvey journey start nineteen thirty. Thus for now it down. So between nineteen thirty thirteen yeah between nineteen thirteen and nineteen thirty two Marcus Gavia lead in the world yeah between 1913 and 1932 no other black organization and no other black leader couldn't go around Marcus Garvey and there's some of that so now We can go in at the whole heap of accomplishment that Garvey had accomplished throughout that period of time. But, like I said, and this is me want to focus. Me want to focus. I, 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 1932. Mm hmm. And I just know, I try to balance up again. So I'm going to look from 19, from 1913. Yeah, my old boy, I'm going to have to do my thing right. From 1913 to 1932, yeah, come in, I want to know, fuck shame me. I don't want to know, fuck shame me. I don't want to know, fuck shame me. So, 1930. To take away nineteen thirteen equal wait no the wrong thing I do nineteen thirty two nineteen thirteen equal nineteen thirty two To 1913, may I get 18 or um, 19 years? I don't know if I do it right, but a, nine, a 19 years that may I get. So it would it, it would be safe to say 20 years before the king get crowned. Yeah. Twenty years. Before the queen get crowned, Marcus Garvia get up. Yeah. Marcus Garvia run the world. The black world. Everything has to bow and salute to him. Until the Cointel program set in to undermine Marcus Garvey. Now, where I go through my mind now is was Rasta working for the co the Cointel program? No. My, the question I ask now was Rasta also working for the Cointel program against Marcus Garvey? Mm-hmm. I did some of that, no? I did some of that. Because when I make no sense to me now, is here come Rastafari as like a counter-program 
the car. It's supposed to come. Blacker than Javi. It's supposed to come. More conscious than Javi. I just saw me there, you know. But how can that be when Rastafari head was in conflict with Yahweh? Mm -hmm. One, Yahweh, if we, if we go with it, where them set, I'm going to show you the conflict. If, them, if we go with it, if we say, yeah, we say, look to the crowning of a black king. Because that's how where, where redemption I got come from. The black king where we look for, he never black. He never go black. In a color. But here it is, highly Selassie. Worship the white man and the white woman. Yeah. Because I worship them God. Mm hmm Because you can't get no Christian than Orthodox. You have to know where I come from now. Orthodox Christianity make Catholic look put Catholic to shame. Orthodox Christianity is the top of the top and that's the highly celestial I worship hence Immanuel the slave owners a friend colleagues in, a, in leagues yeah I'm in leagues with them yeah can I say I'm not pet and I'm not pretty up the thing you know because to the Rasta man, I try to justify why I'm the one from Ethiopia come to England. And then put all kind of spin on that. But I don't accept none of them spin there. Because Javi did also come to England, but in come to England black. I'll, I'll never come to England black. Now, next question. Why did the Queen accommodate Selassie but never accommodate Garvey for the same level? Mm-hmm. That's one strike. Why did Garvey and the Ku Klux Klan meet and them level out on one issue today and that is the issue of separation? Yeah. Garvey and the crew, the grand, the grand wizard and the crew clap can meet and them agree that them have one issue in common and that is we forgot for self. Now, I'm going to read a little thing now where Garvey said. And the issue, and the issue of Social note and intermarriage and race purity. Race purity. Yeah, we are talking about now. Yeah, they say, for a rich Negro, Negro, to marry a poor white is an unpardonable crime and a sin because it is simply mean the transference of the wealth of the race to another. And the ultimate loss of that wealth to that race. It is logically evident that if the Negro is rich, he gains all or most of his wealth from his race. 
to ignore therefore the opposite sex of his race and intermarry with another race is to commit this crime and of this sin for which he should never be pardoned by his race. Now, I am here to tell you now that no Rasta man can say and believe in a Garvey and Garvey teaching and marry out time race. That me I tell no no you know, so that all them things that conflict you know. Conflict. Big big conflict for I. Yeah. When I say I like mm, a knock up why. Yeah. Married to a woman when I look like him mother. I get have me think about. So I don't know if me in a conflict. But me know say that person in a conflict. That person that can't say me and him are the same. That person that can't say him and my brother. I don't know brother. But I got married to no white. No other race. Now, they have to say teach the people to abhor such Negroes and have nothing to do with them so long as they continue in that relationship. This must be done diplomatically, him say. Not to the hearing of the white race. You hear him say? No, me I tell you know, the world, come and feel say, dipl diplomatic. Diplomacy need in this time. Yes, the other race and the other people that teach these things to them children with diplomacy. Yeah, but we just freestyle and hopefully I deal with the thing now. So, I don't think I have to put no sugar coat on it. Yeah, have to say, for safety, let the advice take the form of a, a whisper campaign. Do not say it from the platform, but whisper it right through the neighborhood. And never stop until the burden of your campaign is felt by the individual. So as to learn them a good lesson that others may not be do the same thing with impunity. For a nigger. For a Negro man to marry someone who does not look like his mother or not, or not a member of his race is, is to insult his mother, insult nature, and insult God who made his father. The best tribute a race can pay to nature and God is to preserve its species and when it does, otherwise, it is in rebellion. Do not be in rebellion against God and nature or your parent, who you know of. They came before you and should have known better. Insist in a campaign of race purity that is doing everything moral and social within the race. And close rank against all other race. You hear the man say? Insist in a campaign of race purity that is doing everything moral and socially within the race and close rank against all other race. What I say? Close rank against other race. Why is it that? Rasta today, the nation of Rasta today, is the only group of people that have this open door policy that everybody can come join us. And not only join us, but turn around and lead us. Yeah, I guess I'm a dead. I guess I know what I like to have a debate. 
whether in the comment section. Because I work on go live, you know, but you see, I don't, don't even know how to go live. Because real and truly, when I go live, a straight black me are going on. So, 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 first of all, when I go live, all a nigga will have a white wife can call in for my program. Because never just tell you, never ask you. Why are they defend? And if they are defend interracial thing, you're up on the wrong station. Come on from my station. Yeah, come and tell no say I don't look no friend. I don't look no following. I just point out the contradiction within the Rastafari nation. And every time we come to this juncture of the, these serious defects, Intellectual try to put spin. For example, I'm point out already how it is that Garvey is our first national hero. But nothing about Garvey is being taught in the school to the children. So, my platform, I guess so my platform reaching up. My, my platform is there to teach about Rasta no more, you know. Yeah, a new faculty. And the new faculty is we need to find back with self. My brethren this morning tell me, say, Rasta no going away. And Garvey no going away. And I think about that. Garvey no going away, but Rasta no, no going away. Because Rasta can't move until it finds back its blackness. And I think Pandesso alone, I think we can wrap it up. That's so cause the point is already made. And that is Rasta need to find back its blackness. And there is no such thing as Rasta as it stands today. And Gabby, I think, as one. If you are Rasta, go over there, sir. And stay over there, sir. And if you are Gabby Ice, go over there, sir. And make you stay over there, sir. Over there, sir, me there. Over the Gabby section. Me not over the Rasta section anymore until it finds it black. Me not, me not, me not renounce Rasta, you know. Me not got tell him, you say, me not depend. That platform that we don't know. When all I say every day is stagnation and church building. I'm mean, not depend on me a follow Ile Selassie. I tell no the pine black. I'm mean, not depend on that. I mean, I follow no Ile Selassie. And Garvey me a follow. Garvey was before Ile Selassie in terms of black. Consciousness. Yeah. Garvey is our founding father. Garvey laid down the foundation. I death on my death. I stand up in my blackness. So a black a black.